I've always wanted to learn Arduino, but I never really found the time or a project that really gave me a spark. In 2019, I tried making a watering system using a relay circuit and modified blink code, which was rather Frankenstein, but it did work and got me really thinking about all the possibilities of projects that I could create using Arduino. Over the past few years, I've spent a ton of time focusing on the hardware side of my electronics, and even with my 3D printing, which I spent a ton of time focusing on, I've only touched the firmware of the machine maybe once or twice. Over the years, I've done nowhere near the amount of projects that I've wanted to do, so I'm hoping that AI is going to change that. But how? Well, I recently learned that ChatGPT actually has the ability to program an Arduino, albeit with an occasional mistake. It's heaps better than anything I can do, so I'm going to throw together some of my old circuits that I never got working and see if AI can help me revive them. Before we fully get into the project, I'd like to take a quick moment to explain what an Arduino is for those who don't know. Arduino is an open source electronics platform that allows anyone to create interactive electronic projects. It's a great tool for hobbyists, students and professionals alike, and it's relatively easy to learn. Although the programming, as I found, can be a bit difficult, especially when you've got multiple sensors and modules trying to be combined into one project. To start out, I've got my laptop here with ChatGPT open, and I've got with me an Arduino Nano and an MQ2 smoke sensor module. Now, as mentioned before, I'm pretty confident with the hardware side of things, and my wiring's all good, but as soon as I open up Arduino IDE, I start to get a little bit nervous. To act as a baseline, I've grabbed some code from lastminuteengineers.com. We'll compare this handcrafted code to the AI generated code, and the only variables are, I guess, if it works or not, and if we can understand what's going on. So as we can see on screen now, we are getting some values, and these are the values without smoke going into the sensor. So to test this, I've got a kebab stick, and I'm gonna light this, uh, put it out, and hold it under the sensor. Oh, the valley, the valley's going up. If we hold it away and put it back, the valley goes back down. So that confirms that the handcrafted code does indeed work. So let's switch over to the AI generated code. For the prompt, I told ChatGPT to write Arduino code for an MQ-2 smoke detector and have it trigger an LED when smoke is detected. The output that it gave me was pretty good. The only things I'm gonna change are the smoke level thresholds and the output pins for the components. Right, so I'm now going to upload the AI generated code. Okay, so it should still show on the serial monitor what's going on, which it does. I've got my LED hooked up to pin 8. Let's do this smoke test. turns on and off again brilliant oh that's awesome I could have never done that by myself Wow now I'm not gonna tidy this up so let's instead move on to something a bit more complex as mentioned before I tried building a watering system back in 2019 and it didn't fail due to a lack of hardware I've got a soil moisture sensor and a relay circuit right here only problem is I don't really know how to use them so I'm gonna get chat GPT to write some code which tells the soil moisture sensor to turn on the relay when the soil moisture is low or dry. The prompt I used was write Arduino code for a soil moisture sensor and have it trigger a relay when the soil is dry. The code looks all good, so I'll hook up my wiring accordingly and I'll upload it to the Arduino. Okay, so if I dip the water, dip the sensor in the water, we should see something happen to the server. Uh, no, what is this called again? Relay. Oh! Brilliant. Okay, it worked. Now take that out. Turns off again. Didn't even need the paper towels. Well, I still need them to dry it off. So this can all be easily used to create a fully functional watering system that's, I mean, it's going to be as accurate as it gets. I mean, how much more accurate can you get? It measures the soil directly. And the cool thing is, this is only scratching the surface of all of the possibilities that are possible with ChatGPT and Arduino programming. If you guys have any ideas, please let me know them in the comments below, and I'm certainly going to make a part two on this sometime, as I just don't want to miss out on all of the fun projects that I can now attempt. Thank you guys so much for watching, and hopefully, I'll see you again soon.